Greetings from Mission Control Houston, and welcome to this Friday's edition of International Space Station Update. Joining us here inside of the flight control room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, Orbit 2 team currently on console, being led by that man right there walking, uh, Flight Director Chris Edlin, and right behind him in the blue shirt, Capcom Clay Anderson, NASA astronaut who will serve as the communication link between the controllers down here on the ground and the astronauts up in space. Those astronauts right now, the crew of Expedition 33 being led by NASA astronaut Sonny Williams all the way on the left there. In the middle, Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko, veteran space flyer on his fifth space flight. Uh, and then all the way on the right, uh, Japanese astronaut Aki Hoshide on his second flight, a veteran of uh, one previous shuttle mission. <clears throat> it's a very busy time for the astronauts up on orbit this week. Uh, seeing the arrival of a new cargo vehicle, uh, taking up a, a good deal of their time throughout the week. Uh, starting off on Monday, though, uh, Expedition 33 Commander Sonny Williams was involved with some uh, ultrasound scans for an ongoing experiment known as Sprint. Uh, these astronauts get in about two hours of exercise every day in order to combat some of the negative effects of weightlessness. Uh, Sprint is a, an ongoing study to see if uh, shorter exercise periods, but at higher intensities, uh, can have a better effect at combating some of the negative effects of weightlessness. So she was taking some ultrasounds of her legs, uh, being assisted by Aki Hoshide, and then transmitting all of that uh, data down to researchers on the ground. Sunny also took some time to do a ham radio pass using uh, standard ham radio equipment with uh, the St. George International School in Luxembourg, uh, getting a chance to talk to students and answer their questions directly from the International Space Station. She's also going through a conference with controllers down on the ground as they uh, continue to prep for the arrival of the Dragon SpaceX capsule, which would arrive the following day. Uh, also on Monday, Aki Hoshide was continuing his extended session of the ESA energy experiment, uh, the energy experiment looking to uh, further uh, understand the direct relationship between nutrition and the effects of space on the astronauts' uh, energy levels, also helping to further determine the energy requirements that are necessary for recommending healthy nutrition in these astronauts during their extended stay in weightlessness. Uh, Aki also working on the water recovery system on board the station is filling up one of the contingency water containers and also transferring some of the urine uh, that is stored over to the urine, urine processing assembly, uh, which is then processed and then filtered back into potable drinking water for this Expedition 33 crew. Our third crew member on board, Yuri Malenchenko, spent Monday doing some routine servicing of the Environmental Control and Life Support System, or ECLIS, over on the Russian segment inside of the Zvezda service module. He's also working with the Russian Identification Experiment, which looks to study different dynamic loads on the station structure, especially during dynamic events. Uh, and he was downloading some new structural dynamic measurements uh, to the computer's uh, readers. Moving on to Tuesday, uh, Sonny Williams uh, relocating a laptop for the upcoming capture of that Dragon spacecraft, which was scheduled to take place on Wednesday. Uh, she was relocating a few items over to the Kufla, where uh, her and Aki Hoshide would be standing by the robotics controls. She also got uh, the vestibule ready for uh, fitting the airlock and the Harmony module, where the Dragon would be arriving and docking also going over some uh, cargo review procedures, going over some of the list of uh, high priority items that would need to be offloaded uh, first off, and then uh, any other cargo operations during a tag up with uh, controllers down here on the ground. She was also doing some on-orbit training. Uh, the astronauts had access to a few simulators as they walked through the steps that would be necessary to capture the Dragon spacecraft with that station robotic arm, also known as Canada Arm 2, and also going over some computer-based training on general vehicle operations to assist in uh, her knowledge while the vehicle is docked to the station for about 18 days. Joining her in all of that uh, onboard training was Aki Hoshide, who is side-by-side uh, side working in tandem with uh, Sonny Williams uh, on Wednesday. So he, on Tuesday, he was uh, going over the final uh, rendezvous and capture simulations and also getting some vehicle operations training, uh, again, alongside with Sonny Williams. And aside from that, he was inside of the Japanese experiment module doing a pretty thorough analysis of the microbiological environment, 
is using a device known as the SWAB ASD or the Surface Water and Air Biocharacterization Air Sampling Device. Uh, just getting a readout of the general environment on a microscopic, microscopic scale inside of that Japanese experiment module. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, Yuri Malenchenko, our Russian cosmonaut, uh, immediately woke up and participated in the Sprut experiment, a Russian medical research project on the distribution and behavior of human body fluids in zero gravity. Uh, since these astronauts are in that extended period of weightlessness for uh, long periods of time, uh, it doesn't have the same effect. Uh, no gravity pushing uh, the majority of the body's fluids down towards the legs, so Sprut looks to uh, track just how that affects the astronauts' uh, performance once they're on orbit and also how well they adapt to it. Uh, regular gravity conditions following their arrival back down here on the surface. Aside from that, he was involved in the Russian Kolonovsky crystal experiment. he would be working on this for about three days this week. A fairly complex physics experiment on board the station looking to study the dynamic and structural characteristics of uh, crystal systems known as Coulomb crystals that are formed when ions are stored inside of an electromagnetic trap. Moving on to Wednesday, a very big day for the astronauts on board the station seeing the arrival <coughs> of the Dragon spacecraft. Sunny Williams uh, started her day out moving the command, uh, the crew command panel uh, into uh, their position inside of the cupola that would be used for the crew, uh, her and Aki, to interact with the Dragon capsule during its final approach as it moved through a series of different uh, stop and hold points. Uh, she would be monitoring the Dragon uh, throughout its final approach, and then standing by to capture it with the space station robotic arm. Uh, this Dragon capsule uh, in the mission dubbed uh, SpaceX CRS-1, or Commercial Resupply-1, is the first commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station. The capsule launched from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida back on Sunday, about 7.35 p.m. Central Time. Uh, during its final uh, fly-up, you can see it here, uh, parked just about 10 meters from its final home uh, at the uh, Harmony module on the Earth-facing side. Uh, Sunny Williams and Aki Hoshide uh, manipulating that robotic arm to reach out and grapple with the SpaceX Dragon capsule. That was done successfully about 5.56 a.m. Central Time. Following that successful grapple, uh, controllers down here in Mission Control maneuvered the Dragon spacecraft into its final docking uh, attitude. And then once it uh, was finally lined up, it was then uh, the robotic arm was taken back over by uh, Williams and Hoshide as they guided it in, berthing it with the Harmony module, that successful berthing coming at 8.03 a.m. Central Time. Following that berthing, uh, the astronauts would go through and do a uh, system of leak checks to make sure everything was uh, latched in uh, correctly and they had a, a good mate between the two spacecraft also going through and removing uh, a number of the different uh, components of the common berthing mechanism so they could get into uh, the actual hatch opening. Uh, and again, Williams doing all of this on Wednesday. She was uh, assisted throughout the day in handing off uh, control of the robotic arm and some of the uh, berthing operations with Aki Hoshide. Uh, but this Dragon spacecraft taking up uh, pretty much their entire day on Wednesday, they were able to open up that hatch about 12.40 p.m. Central Time, again on Wednesday. Moving on to uh, Yuri Malenchenko, also on Wednesday, was working on a few more uh, experiments on board the Russian segment. He, was, he spent a few hours working through the Typologia experiment, which is an assessment of the uh, mental state of these astronauts and also their prediction and correction quality, basically just uh, recording uh, their ability to perform different tasks or series of exercises, uh, looking to track throughout their space flights uh, any cognitive differences that they uh, may experience. He's also back at uh, working with that Kolonovsky crystal f experiment for the second day in a row and did a pre-pack of a Freon leak analyzer, which is scheduled to be returned down on the Dragon spacecraft, which will be dragging and bringing back down about 1,600 pounds of supplies once it departs the International Space Station uh, a little bit later in November, or a little bit later this month. Moving on to Thursday, uh, Sonny Williams uh, working with the Environmental Health System on board the International Space Station, uh, removing a buffer container from the Total Organic Carbon Analyzer, 
which is one of the uh, items in that environmental health system that looks to track any potential contaminants in the astronaut's drinking water. She's also taking a few samples from the water processor assembly. Aside from that, she was uh, unloading some cargo throughout the day from the SpaceX capsule, uh, removing the double cold bag and also activating the uh, newly arrived nano racks experiment and transferring a few of the cold stowage items from the Dragon's Glacier Freezer over to one of the Merlin lockers on board the International Space Station. She also took some time out uh, from her activities to speak with reporters from ABC News and CNN, giving them a look at life inside of the International Space Station. Meanwhile, Aki Hoshide spent much of his day on Thursday transferring cargo out from that newly arrived Dragon spacecraft. He was also swapping out one of the hard drives in the crystal liquids and crystallization experiment. But again, much of his day spent uh, on Thursday uh, inside of that uh, Dragon capsule, removing some of the 800-some uh, pounds of cargo uh, that arrived on board the station, and then also prepping it for uh, the installation of any uh, items that will be sent back down to the ground. Also on Thursday, Yuri Malenchenko uh, continued his third day of that Kolonovsky crystal experiment uh, and also cleaned up a few ventilation screens and dust collectors over in the uh, Russian segment, ensuring that the... Uh, breathing atmosphere inside of the International Space Station uh, is receiving the proper uh, scrubbing of different uh, potentially harmful particles, uh, just from some of the routine maintenance that goes on uh, part of these astronauts' day to ensure that their uh, living environment in the uh, orbiting laboratory is kept uh, safe and healthy. All that brings us to today on Friday. Uh, Sonny Williams uh, earlier in the morning doing a, an audit on one of the contingency water containers inside of the environmental health system on board the International Space Station. She'll also be uh, spending much of today transferring some of the cargo uh, from the station into the Dragon spacecraft. As mentioned, it'll be bringing down a total of 1,637 pounds uh, of supplies once it returns back down to the Earth for a splashdown a few hundred, a few miles off the coast of California. Uh, among these, this 1,600 pounds of supplies, over 800 will be scientific research uh, specific, returning down a number of uh, samples through from many uh, biological experiments being conducted on board station that had been stored in freezers uh, since the retirement of the shuttle. No large down mass capability has been available to the crews on board the International Space Station. So uh, this SpaceX capsule providing an invaluable link in the chain uh, of continuing uh, research and utilization of uh, many of the biological, uh, not only human, but also different uh, plant and animal cell uh, biology experiments going on on board the International Space Station that require these samples to be returned down to researchers here on the ground. So Sunny transferring uh, a bunch of cargo over into the Dragon spacecraft today. She also got a chance to speak with some reporters in her native Massachusetts from WBZ-TV, again giving them a look inside of life on board the International Space Station and all the activities she's been up to during her increment as Expedition 33 commander. Meanwhile, Aki Hoshide back inside of the Japanese experiment module using a microbe air sampling device, collecting a few microbes and continuing uh, some of the activities that he started earlier this week, checking the environment inside of the module. This is a fairly routine uh, practice for these astronauts as they continually track uh, to see uh, the environment of uh, the entire station structure, even down to a microscopic level. Uh, aside from doing that work inside the gem, he'll also be pressurizing the uh, experiment module's airlock which leads uh, directly out into the exposed facility and is used to uh, transfer uh, different experiments back and forth between the pressurized uh, portion of the International Space Station and the unpressurized vacuum uh, setting of that Japanese exposed facility. He'll also be doing some of his own ultrasounds, which uh, Sonny Williams was doing a little bit earlier this week, uh, all part of the Sprint uh, research project on board the International Space Station. And our final crew member, uh, Yuri Malenchenko, doing some routine replacements today, uh, working on the Russian toilet system and also changing out a few dust filters uh, throughout the uh, air revitalization system over on the Russian segment. Also working today with the Matryoshka uh, study. It's a radiation study named after the uh, nested Russian dolls. 
Uh, he'll be removing a few of the dosimeters and uh, downlinking any of the data retrieved from those to researchers down on the ground. Uh, it's, again, it's uh, one of the radiation studies on board the International Space Station. It's a mannequin-sized object that has a number of readers uh, spaced throughout it and looks to track any of the um, radiation levels during space flight that these astronauts are being exposed to. And aside from all the astronaut work, uh, troubleshooting was occurring yesterday uh, to reapply a few of the electrical loads on various components of the 3A power channel and all that troubleshooting was completed. Uh, engineers are going to monitor uh, the power channel over the next seven days to observe the performance of the system. Uh, an apparent short was noticed uh, several weeks ago that took down the channel, uh, but this reapplication of loads yesterday could mean that uh, no spacewalk would be required to fix any of the issues outside of the station. And then, as of right now, the batteries on that 3A power channel are charged but aren't delivering any power to the systems at the moment until this seven-day monitoring period is over.